हे फ्रेंड्स असलमकुम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल विथ मी शाहनाथ जन्नत एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हैंड मसल्स और हैंड मसल्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इंट्रेंजिक मसल बिकॉज दीज आर स्मॉल मसल एंड इट्स ओरिजिन फ्रॉम हैंड एंड इंसर्शन ऑल्सो इन हैंड सो इन हैंड वी हैव टोटल ट्वेंटी मसल्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द नेम्स ऑफ ऑल दिस मसल्स so now we will see our hand muscles okay we can divide our hand muscles in five part thinner muscle hypothenar muscle lumbrical muscle palmar interossei dorsal interossei okay first we will see our thinner muscle mm, this is our thinner eminence okay side of our thumb uh, we use our uh, thinner muscle for our thumb okay so so that's why पॉलिसस ओके एबडक्टर पॉलिसस ब्रेविस फ्लेक्जर पॉलिसस ब्रेविस ओपोनेंस पॉलिसस एडक्टर पॉलिसस दीज आर फॉर थम्ब एंड हाइपोथेनर मसल दिस इज आवर हाइपोथेनर एमिनेंस एंड दिज मसल वी यूज फॉर आवर लिटल फिंगर दैर सो आई इंस्टेड ऑफ पॉलिसस हेयर वी यूज डिजिटी मिनिमी ओके और एबडक्टर डिजिटी मिनिमी फ्लेक्जर डिजिटी मिनिमी ओपोनेंस डिजिटी मिनिमी पालमारिस ब्रेविस वी कैन Remember this muscles with a trick of O, okay? Of O, F for abductor pollicis brevis, abductor digiti minimi. F flexor pollicis brevis, flexor digiti minimi. Opponents pollicis, opponents digiti minimi. So then our lumbrical muscle, palmar interosse, dorsal interosse, okay? Uh, for these three groups of muscle, we don't have any special name. These are just called first lumbrical, second lumbrical, third lumbrical, fourth lumbrical. Uh, these also same. Palmar interossei, first, second, third, fourth. Dorsal interossei, first, second, third, fourth. So now we will see nerve supply of these muscles. Our abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, opponents pollicis. These three muscle and our first lumbricals and second lumbricals. Okay, these five muscle supplied by median nerve. Then our palmaris brevis muscle. Palmaris brevis. this muscle supplied by superficial branch of ulnar nerve then our rest of all muscle Our adductor pollicis, abductor digiti minimi, flexor digiti minimi, opponents digiti minimi. Then our third and fourth lumbricals, all our palmar interossei and all our dorsal interossei muscles supplied by deep branch of ulnar nerve. so our five muscles supplied by median nerve and our 14 this 14 muscle supplied by deep branch of ulnar nerve and only one muscle supplied by superficial branch of ulnar nerve so total 20 muscles now we will see our thinner muscle in diagram so this is our diagram this is anterior view uh, this is a proximal phalanx of thumb these are metacarpal bones the this is a flexor retinaculum this is a scaphoid this is trapezium this is trapezoid this is pc form 
So, no, first we will see our abductor pollicis brevis. Its origin from tubercle of scaphoid, trapezium, and flexor retina column. Okay, from here. And its insertion into base of proximal phalanx of thumb here. So, this is our abductor pollicis brevis. Then our flexor pollicis brevis, its origin from uh, flexor retina column, trapezoid and capitate bones from here and its insertion also proximal phalanx of thumb here. So, this is our um, flexor pollicis brevis muscle. Then our opponent's pollicis, its origin from flexor retina column from here and its insertion into shaft of metacarpal bone of thumb here so this is so uh, this is our abductor so this is our abductor pollicis brevis this is flexor pollicis brevis and this is opponent's pollicis then our adductor pollicis its origin from second base of the second and third metacarpal bone second and third metacarpal bone and uh, this is its oblique head and its transverse head origin from third metacarpal bone shaft of third metacarpal bone and its insertion into proximal phalanx of thumb here so this is our So, this is our abductor pollicis muscle. Now, its action. Our abductor pollicis brevis muscle helps abduction of thumb and adductor pollicis help adduction of thumb and flexor pollicis brevis helps flexion of thumb and our uh, opponent's pollicis muscle helps to pull the thumb forward and medially. Now we will see our hypothenar muscles in diagram. So our hypothenar muscles first we will see our abductor DZT minimi. Its origin from PC form bone from here and its insertion into proximal phalanx of little finger here. So this is our abductor DZT minimi. Then we will see our flexor DZT minimi. Its origin from flexor retina column and its, its insertion also into the proximal phalanx of little finger hair. So this is our flexor DZT minimi. Then our opponent's DZT minimi. Its origin also from flexor retina column and its insertion into fifth metacarpal bone medial side of fifth metacarpal bone so this is our opponent's dzt minimi so these are our thenar muscle and this our hypothenar muscle then our palmaris brevis its origin from here from flexor retina column and our and our palmaris previous muscle insertion into skin of the palm now action of our uh, hypothenar muscles our abductor dzt minimi helps to uh, helps to abduction of little finger and our flexor dzt minimi helps to flexion of dzt minimi then our opponent's dzt minimi pulls a fifth metacarpal bone uh, forward as in uh, cooping the palm. Then our palmaris uh, brevis muscle uh, wrinkles skin uh, to improve grip of the palm. So now we will see our lumbricals muscle in diagram. We have uh, four lumbricals muscle and its origin from tendons of flexor digitorum profundus. These are tendons of flexor digitorum profundus. This first origin from 
lateral side of a tendon of flexor digitorum profundus of second digit then next origin from same tendons of third digit then from same tendons third and fourth digits then from fourth and fifth digits and its insertion into extensor expansion into dorsum of a basis of distal phalanx our lumbrical muscles uh, flex the metacarpophalangeal joint and extends the um, uh, interphalangeal joints from second to fifth digits now we will see our palmar interosseum muscle first and second palmar interosseum muscles are origin from medial side of the base of the first and second metacarpal bone and third and fourth origin from lateral side of third and fourth metacarpal bone first palmar interosseum muscle insertion into proximal phalanx of thumb here then second palmar interosseum muscle origin insertion into distal phalanx of second digit then third palmar interosseum insertion into third distal phalanx then fourth distal phalanx now we will see our dorsal interosseum muscle this is the posterior view or dorsal view okay its first origin from first and second metacarpal bone then second from second and third then third origin from third and fourth metacarpal bones then fourth from origin from four and fifth metacarpal bone and its insertion into second third third and and fourth digit so these are our dorsal interosseum muscles now its section our palmar interosseum muscle adducts the fingers toward the center of middle finger and our dorsal interosseum muscle uh, abducts fingers from the center of middle finger and both the palmar and dorsal interosseum muscles flex the metacarpophalangeal joint and extend interphalangeal joints so this is all about our hand muscles and with this video we will complete our upper limb muscles so in my next video i will come back with a new topic till then you take care and subscribe to my channel allah peace